Hey, welcome back to another Double Down Collection. Um, today we will be showing what I got for the second week of February. And it's actually a, a pretty decent stack today. Um, there's actually one surprise, not with the game itself, but where I got the game. And we'll talk about that a little later. But let's get into my pickups and see what I got. So the first one's not really anything special. It is Madden 18. Um, to be honest, I'm still on the fence of whether or not I'm going to keep this. Uh, I got this in a, a eBay lot of six Xbox One games, uh, which I will be showing. And this was just one of them. It's not worth early at all. I think it's like a four buck game. The case has already been swapped out uh, for an upgrade for another game that came in the same lot. I used to like playing sports games. I used to like playing football games, but that was back in the NFL Blitz days. So I don't know. Maybe I'll give this a shot. Maybe I won't, you know. But every time I go to throw it in the trash, I feel really bad about doing it. It is a video game. So, yeah, I'll, I don't know. I don't know. So next one I got is Rainbow Six Siege. Now this is a special edition. It comes with uh, two free games. It comes with um, Rainbow Six Vegas and Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Uh, I have tried playing these games. I enjoyed them. Uh, I'm going to give this one a second uh, shot. Or no, I, I apologize. I haven't played this one. I played, uh, I believe, another... Uh, Rainbow Six, but I, I liked it decently. This should be interesting. And, uh, you know, it, it was just one of those ones that, that looked kind of fun. So, uh, another one from that lot is Star Wars Battlefront. Not much to be said here. I am a huge Star Wars fan. To go through the different battles in a Star Wars uh, series, that actually sounds like a lot of fun. I have played one of these, I believe, on the... It was either an Xbox 360 game or a PlayStation 2 game over at a friend's house. They're not bad. Uh, I don't know if this... The 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 server is still up for this, if you could still play it as a multiplayer. But it should be interesting. It should be fun. The back looks like a blast. So definitely be uh, willing to check that out. So, I got uh, Injustice 2 in that same lot. I, I love, uh, I'm not a big fighting game person, but this one um, is DC. I am a DC fan. I also love Marvel. Um, but, you know, I've played these before. They're a lot of fun. They're enjoyable. Not much to say about them. So, next one is a game I have never played, and that is Deuce X. Uh, this is the Mankind Divided Day 1 Edition. Uh, I have no knowledge of this game. It looks like a first-person shooter right up my alley. Um, you know, who knows? It, it, it might actually be worth the, the playing, you know. Um, but I have no clue. I have no clue. So, And then this one is the Borderlands Handsome Edition. Uh, the last one in that uh, that lot I actually picked up the entire lot for twenty bucks, so I paid like almost less than two dollars for these. Uh, and it, you know, this one was the one I was looking forward to playing the most. It does have uh, Borderlands the prequel, pre sequel, and Borderlands two in it. I do have Borderlands one. Um, eventually, I will jump into the entire series and see what they're all about. It should be fun. So. Uh, we'll go with this one first, or actually these two first, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get these in order. Uh, first one, uh, the next one that I'll show, actually I picked up, uh, stopped at a Salvation Army, picked up two games. These were both 350 each, this one is NASCAR 14. I'm not a, I'm not a huge NASCAR fan, but I do love racing games, and this one just looked interesting, um, it looked uh, very, you know, realistic. So I'm, I'm curious to play it, see how it goes. Um, I do believe this one sells for about $11, maybe 12 So if I don't like it, I can always, you know, do that. Maybe recoup a little, the, at least recoup the money that I spent on it. But we'll see how it goes. It just, it looks interesting. 
you know, as a racing game fan, I'm down. Uh, the one that I also picked up at the same store is the Medal of Honor Heroes 2. Uh, I like the Medal of Honor series. I, I have enjoyed it so far, especially when you um, have like World War II or World War I. Um, I just enjoy it. And I believe this one is, yeah, it's set in World War II, World War II in your hands. Um, it's just one of those ones that I'll enjoy. Funny enough, I, I'll, I say this. And you'll see why I say this kind of laughingly a little. I'm not a big fan of the Call of Duty series, but for some reason I really like the the Heroes or the Medal of Honor series. I don't know why, but all right. Well, here is actually the surprise one, and it's again nothing special for the game. It's Resident Evil Six, uh, PS3. The thing that surprised me is where I got this. I actually um, there's kind of a story to how I got this one. It actually found out that GameStop is now selling retro video games. PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Wii, Wii U, uh, 3DS, and a few other of uh, the vintage consoles. And I didn't you know, think twice about it until I drove by one. I wasn't having much luck today. I drove by one and it says, I'm going to check what they have. And sure enough, they had vintage video games. Not a huge selection, but a decent selection. And they actually had some pretty good ones. Uh, Mario Kart uh, for the Wii. They had Xeno, uh, Xeno Blade on uh, the Wii U. They had a couple of the Pokemon on 3DS. They had one um, that was like a Dragon Ball Z. The same person who made Dragon Ball Z made this series on 3DS. It was like a $110 game. You know, still really cool to see GameStop getting vintage video games. So if you only have a GameStop in your area and you're a vintage video game collector, it might be worth looking up. This one I ended up buying for like 5 bucks. Um, it doesn't go much more for that. It's like $7, but still... A pretty good deal and they actually had some decent games I want to go back and get a few more when I get paid again so yeah that one's a good one and it's one of the few ones of the the uh, Resident Evil I don't have so. well down to my last three and I got these on the same day a local thrift store, uh, or a local, yeah, thrift store that I'm, I go to every now and then has started selling their games for literally $2. Uh, their systems are 20 and under. Um, I'm actually kind of mad because when I went the, this day that I got these two games, um, I missed out by 15 minutes a on a GameCube with Wavebird and Sonic Riders in it in a bundle for i think it was only 14.99 um which if you know anything about the the wave birds and sonic riders sonic riders is a 30 dollar game and wave bird is like a 60 to 70 dollar item and the gamecube itself is pretty good they also had a playstation 2 two xbox ones and a wii quite a few other things and all of them were under 20 dollars uh, many of them were just 15 and I know the two Xbox Ones, which I actually watched uh, the guy who bought those, they were 10 bucks each. With cables, everything, controller. So even for a controller, for an Xbox One, that's a heck of a deal. So, But yeah, they, uh, they scooped up a bunch of stuff. I, he showed me some of the games he got. I was amazed. But luckily, he they left uh, both of those resellers left me two games that I am going to show you now. Uh, one is Call of Duty 2, the big red line, our big red one. Um, I laugh at myself because I, I constantly say I'm not a Call of Duty fan. I I really haven't been since modern the Modern Warfare, Warfare series quit. But again, this is World War II. Again. This was two bucks. And again, it is complete. I mean, unfortunately, it is not in a PlayStation, you know, system, but it is complete. So for two bucks for a PS2 game in good condition, I'm going to take that all day long. 
And this next one, um, funny enough, uh, I, I was talking to a friend and I says, where are all the wrestling and skateboarding games? I almost never see them. It used to be that if you went to a thrift store, you naturally saw a wrestling game or you saw a, th a skateboarding game. In this about year and a half, I have not seen a single wrestling game or skateboarding game at a thrift store, antique store, reselling store, whatever. I haven't seen them. If you go to like a uh, comic book or video game store, yes, they have them, but they're usually really high priced. You don't really see them as much as you used to. Well, sure enough, last week I ended up picking up that wrestling game that uh, WWE versus SmackDown or Raw versus SmackDown. Um, and this week I picked up Tony Hawk's Underground. Um, I remember playing this, I believe, on the three on the original Xbox. This is a fun game. The soundtrack is just amazing. I I love these Tony Hawk. I, I played a lot of these. Even the demos were fun. So I am uh, glad to enter this into my collection. And just happy to, you know, have it. It is the greatest hit. It is complete. It is in great shape. Uh, the case is a tad bit dirty. But I could clean that up. And, again, two bucks. I, I'm not going to complain about this at all. So... All right, well, we come back down to the last one. Um, this was an eBay pickup that was kind of a big, big uh, uh, deal. Uh, it wasn't on sale or anything. I honestly think the person didn't know the value of the game, but it is Warhammer Bolt Gun. Uh, this game I got for roughly about $28. Uh, that was with free shipping and all that. Um, this game is like a 40 to $45 game, so I don't know, you know, if they missed that or they didn't know about it. It's a lot of fun if you are a uh, fan of the original Doom and uh, the Quake series and all that. You'll enjoy this. It definitely reminds me of a uh, computer old PC shooting game. So, a lot of fun. I, I am slowly going to try to get as many of these uh, Warhammer um, video games as I can. I love the, the history, I love the history, and with the new series, you know these are only going to skyrocket um, skyrocket up in price. So It'll be nice to have. Um, that's it for games. I did pick up two other items. One was a case uh, for the PlayStation 3. I got given that at one of the stores. And I also got a cheat code uh, overload book um, by Brady Games. And it covers games from the Wii, Xbox 360 with bonus achievements, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, Xbox, GameCube, PSP, Nintendo DS, and Game Boy Advanced. Uh, and some of the hottest games that they have is Mario Kart Wii, Guitar Hero 3, Lego Indiana Jones, uh, the original uh, Adventures, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Darkness, and Yu-Gi-Oh! World Champ 2008. So I love picking these up. They're always fun to flip through and see what actually works and what doesn't. And it's just a blast. So um, as far as what we have total after these games, we have a total of 192 games in the collection. And it is, as it is, getting close to that 200 mark. Next weekend, I should pass that up. Uh, I do have a few games coming in, and I know I will be doing some more hunting um, throughout the week. So I'm looking forward to, to hitting that mark and going past it. So, Well, guys, that is it. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, this, and hopefully you find... Uh, these videos enjoyable. I'm not as dull as I sound to myself, hopefully. And uh, yeah, just keep on coming back. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Uh, and you know, always hit that subscribe uh, video or button. I will be doing trying to do uh, more videos later on. So you guys have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.